Lechmere, one of the terminus stations on the Green Line. It won't be like that for long, however, because on May 25th of this year, it'll be demolished and moved to a new spot, acting as a normal station as part of the Green Line Extension Project. So today, I thought, why not talk about Lechmere, the viaduct, and the Causeway Street elevated? Let's begin at North Station. Here's Canal Street, where the Canal Street incline had existed, which led trolleys through to the Tremont Street subway, today's Green Line, as well as serving today's Orange Line. It opened on September 3rd, 1898, allowing trolleys to run in the northeast and northwestern parts outside of Boston, including Cambridge and Charlestown via the Charles River Dam, Longfellow Bridge, and the Charlestown Bridge. When it initially opened, the Canal Street Incline utilized four tracks into the subway. The two inner tracks made trolleys loop at Scully Square Station, today's Government Center Station, while the outer tracks ran further along the subway line. In 1901, the two outer tracks were used by the Charlestown Elevated Rapid Line Service, today's Orange Line, which meant trolleys would only terminate at Scully Square. But in 1908, two new tracks were built at the portal to accommodate for the Charlestown Elevated, giving the two outer tracks back to streetcar use. We will talk about the Charlestown Elevated in a future video, so stay tuned. From Cambridge to the Canal Street Incline, trolleys had to run along the Charles River Dam. However, much like the downtown area, this road segment was congested leading trolleys to take a lot of time to get to the subway portion. To speed up operations, the Leechmere Viaduct and the Causeway Elevator were constructed with construction starting in 1907 and completing in 1912. The station behind me is the Science Park Station, built in 1955 as the last part of the viaduct. It was built there to accommodate for the Museum of Science, built in 1951. If you weren't around the area, the station was actually renovated back in 2011, the only main difference being that elevator right over here. There. <laughs> Essentially, Leishmere acted as a gateway for streetcars in Cambridge to get into the subway. However, with so many routes squeezing such a small corridor, it became problematic. So, in 1922, Barry decided that streetcars in Cambridge would terminate at Leechmere and a separate trolley would run from Leechmere to the subway. As I mentioned, originally Leechmere acted as a gateway to the Tremont Street subway, but later acted as a terminal. This image I'm posting here was what the station looked when it first opened as a terminal. The way it was set up was you have streetcars in Cambridge terminating on this side, where the inbound Tremont trolleys would head into Boston. Streetcars would then go around to the other side of the station to pick up passengers from the outbound or terminating tracks of the subway. Up to 1923, trolleys from Cambridge ran in the Tremont Street subway all the way to the Pleasant Street Incline, an incline to be covered later. Between 1923 to 1931, the service changed to run from Leechmere to a loop at Kenmore Station, Kenmore having to be a surface station at the time where today it is underground. During this time period, some trolleys ran out onto the Beacon Street line, today's C branch, and looped at Washington Square. After 1931, the Commonwealth Avenue and Beacon Street lines, Commonwealth being today's B branch, were extended to Leechmere and suspending the loops at Kenmore and Washington Square. When the MBTA took charge, all the trolley routes rotated their termination point. Eventually, it led to only having the E branch terminated at Leechmere, with various times where the D branch would end up here, starting at Reservoir. During rush hour, the T would also run a shuttle service between Leechmere to the eastbound loop at Government Center. I had mentioned that Leechmere obtained riders from the feeder streetcars. Those streetcar routes don't exist today and instead were replaced with bus services. Rather than have the buses loop around like the streetcars, they just huddle up together on the exiting part of the station. If you come to Causeway Street today, you might notice a lack of elevated tracks. In 1997, it was decided that the Green Line would run underneath North Station and a new incline would be built before Science Park Station. This was done to give up some space where the elevated tracks and the old incline had taken over, shine some light upon the street, and get rid of the annoying screeching sound. Seriously, Boylston, Park Street, and Government Center are more than enough to make you deaf. <laughs> On June 25, 2004, the Causeway Elevator was permanently closed, and three days later, the new North Station stop was in full operation. It wasn't until November the following year, the trolley service resumed towards Leechmere via the new tunnel and incline. Up until 2020, Leechmere acted as a terminating point for the Green Line. But with the Green Line Extension Project, aka GLX, a new Leechmere station was deemed necessary to build in order to extend the Green Line towards Somerville and Medford. So, while we say goodbye to an old era, we invite a new generation of travel towards and beyond Leechmere. What was once a terminating point for trolleys from Cambridge and Boston will soon be one that will extend the path for the Green Line.
two videos in a row where there's just a sad ending. Very interesting. Oh well. Next stop.